what can I do for you? I was just passing and I thought I'd see if Mr. Don Vega was home. Oh, he's long gone to farm to check the cattle. What? While the father slaves, the son is dreaming, eh? You are right. I don't know what has happened to Diego. He used to be such a good boy. But since he came back from that school abroad, even his dog is lazy. <sighs> Wake up! Huh? What? What is it? Where am I? Where are you? I'll tell you where you are, my boy. Lacing in the sun with your dog while your father sweats to pay for your education. Listen, Diego. People are beginning to talk. Even Don Carlos. You mean you're not going to let Lolita see Diego anymore? He is a lazy gut for nothing. I will not allow him to see her anymore, Katarina. Who can say what would happen to the Vega family if he should inherit, huh? Oh. But surely it's better for us if Diego is lazy. Huh? Diego is such a weak-minded boy that although he's not the perfect partner for Lolita, if they did marry, then in time and with some coaxing, we could use his lands freely. Are you sure? What about his father, Don Vega? Don't worry about Don Vega, Carlos. I'm almost certain he will toast the happy couple and indulge his son in the usual manner. Well, I suppose you're right. <laughs> in which case, we must encourage them to get married without further delay. What are you two talking about? Mm, nothing special. Hello, dear. Mm, Lolita, tell me what you think about young Diego Vega. Diego? He's boring, lazy, and he's a coward. Diego a coward? I think not. He, he used to help me protect you from the ruffians when you were small. Oh, Father, that was so long ago and before he went away to school and became lazy and stubborn. My, my, I always thought he was such a helpful and honest boy. Helpful? Honest? What are you talking about? Oh, well. <coughs> if the people around here heard you talking about Diego like that, you'd be the laughingstock of the village. <coughs> No, Lolita. Lolita. Don't worry, Carlos. I'll speak to our little Lolita. I think you should have a quiet word with Don Vega, man to man. Yes, dear. I'm sure we can fix this matter. Dear Lolita, I have good news. I won the school fencing championship. I know you'll be pleased and will congratulate me when I come home. Hmm, a fencing champion. I'll believe that when I see it. That Diego's such a liar. Diego wrote me so many letters from his school abroad, and all he talks about is himself. He never once asks about me. Huh? What does he want? Why is Gabriel here? Ugh. Don't you dare tell him that I'm here. Yes, dear. What? To see Lolita? Yes, Don Carlos. That's why I'm here. Oh, my. Uh, uh, well, I'm afraid uh, she's not here right now, my friend. Not here? Then where? She's... Uh, oh. She's still such a child, you understand. She's at that age where girls think everything is a big secret. Now, please, gentlemen, drink. Ah, thank you, ma'am. I'm sorry about that. I had a special proposal for her, you see. Proposal? Yes, Don Carlos. I've come here today to ask your daughter to marry me. Ah. Uh. Here, I have bought this engagement ring. Oh. Please, Don Carlos, would you give this to your daughter? But, Lieutenant, you surprise us. I realize this must come as something of a shock to you, but from the first moment I saw Lolita, I knew she was the girl for me. Uh, but, uh, uh... It sounds as though you don't like the idea. Oh, nothing of the sort, but I'm afraid Lolita is already engaged. What? To whom? Um... You're bored, Diego. Why don't you find something to do? 
You know I have plenty to do, Bernard. Just nothing to do right now. I bet if people knew you were Zorro, you'd be... Bernard, how many times? Keep your mouth shut. Mm -hmm. oh, I know you only pretend to be lazy to keep your secret, Diego, but if you carry on, you'll lose Lolita. Eh, I probably have. Don't you care? Diego, look! Here she comes! Huh? Hi, Lolita! Huh? Oh, well, you win some, you lose some, huh? <laughs> hey! Hey, what's the matter, Lolita? Why are you so angry? Did I do something wrong? Answer me! Oh, no, Diego, you haven't done anything. You never do anything. Huh? Do you know what people say about you? That you're lazy, unreliable, weak-minded, and useless. Oh, I sometimes just get embarrassed just being seen with you. Lolita, am I that bad? Oh, and that's not all. What about all those letters you wrote? A very good day to you, Miss Lolita. How charming. A very good day to you, Lieutenant Gabriel. Hmm. I'm glad to see you here, Don Diego Vega. I have a proposition for you. What is it? <gasps> That's one sharp saber. <laughs> Don Diego Vega, I challenge you to a duel. What? A duel? <gasps> Losing your grip already? Why would I want to fight you, Lieutenant Gabriel? Why? For the hand of Miss Lolita. In marriage? <gasps> Yes, Miss Lolita. I went to your house to propose, but your father tells me that Diego Vega is your fiancé. Her fiancé? Huh? But my heart is set on you. I will not give up. And so, Vega, I challenge you to a duel to decide the better man. Diego, put up that sword. This is ridiculous. Why? If you really love her, you will fight for her. Unless, of course, your fear is greater than your love. Now's your chance. Show them you're no coward. Lolita. Miss Lolita seems to agree. But I've never been any good with a sword. But you wrote and told me in your letters that you had won the school fencing championship. Ah, uh, this might be more fun than I thought. Uh, uh, Come on, pick up the sword and fight like a man. Ah, uh, help me. Ah. Uh, 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 Oh, Come oh, oh, back oh, oh, here you. right now! Oh. Huh? Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. I can't watch. <coughs> you, sir, are a coward. Oh, Diego, don't you have any courage at all? But I. Uh... You're nothing but a sham and a liar. Miss Lolita, now you have seen your fiancé in his true light. Perhaps you'll do me the honor of accepting my proposal mm. of marriage. Eh? Oh, oh, you soldiers are so arrogant. Don't you think I have a mind of my own? I would never marry you if you were the last man on earth. Don't you forget it. <laughs> Miss Lolita! <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> What happened, Lieutenant Gabriel? Shut up! Huh? Ah! Uh, 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 uh. Huh? And where do you think you're going? Huh? It's so on, Vega. It seems they are to be married. Be married? Yes, and you know how the young feel about long engagements. <laughs> But they're still so young and innocent. Yes, this is why I have come to speak to you, Don Vega. We don't want them eloping, do we? Mr. Vega! Ah. Diego's in prison! Diego's in prison! Ah. What? Ah. I have a right to know why I'm here. You're here, Vega, because you made me look a fool. That wasn't me, that was Lolita! Silence! He is to have no visitors, you understand? No one is to see him. Yes, sir. Ah, good. Who's he? He's a suspected arsonist, sir. Ah, a firebug. 
Yes, sir. I'll cross-examine him myself, Jailer. Bring him to me later. As you command, sir. Hmm. This happen. We never have fires here. Huh? This was no accident, Don Carlos. This was arson. Arson? A firebug broke out of jail last night. This could be terrible for the farmers. He must be captured. Please capture him quickly. What can we do, Lieutenant? Well, I wish we could spare the men. But as you know, Don Carlos, most of our time is spent trying to capture rebels like Zorro. Oh, no. Of course, your daughter Lolita would make a handsome reward for the capture of this firebug, don't you agree? Huh? Hmm. Marry the lieutenant! You could do a lot worse, Lolita. He is a respected man and could look after you well. I said I wouldn't marry him if he was the last man on Earth. Please, Lolita, it could mean so much to your whole family. No, Father, I cannot marry a man that I hate. Lolita! Oh, dear. I'll make up my own mind who I'm going to marry. No one's going to force me. What is it, Bernard? Tell me. It's Lolita! What's wrong with Lolita? Oh, oh, what are you gonna do to me? I won't hurt you, Miss Lolita. It's time you and I had a little talk. I have nothing to say to you. I demand you let me go. I'm afraid I can't do that. This is my private uh, prison. No one knows uh, its location, and for the moment you'll stay here as my guest. Oh! Uh, my dear Lolita, you must understand that what I am offering you is protection for yourself and your family. All I ask of you in return is that you agree to marry me. I would hate to think that any more accidents would befall your father's estate. What do you mean? I don't understand. Then let me spell it out for you. If you become my wife, I will make sure the arsonist is arrested and never troubles your family again. Everything depends upon your answer. Get out of here! <laughs> Have it your own way! What are you going to do with her now, Lieutenant? Let her stay here for a while until she cools down, and don't let her escape. Okay, Lieutenant, if you say so. I don't feel good about this at all. Hey! I told you not to come round here. <laughs> Is the woman still in there? That's not your problem. Is it the same again tonight? Just burn it all. Huh? <laughs> <gasps> No one has seen her. How was it? Did you find her? 
No, I looked everywhere for her, Don Carlos. Oh, poor Lolita. We mustn't think that way, Carlos. Oh, God, let her come home soon. Oh. Oh. Firebug, you have had your fun tonight. I have mine. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Did you hear that, my love? I know you are being used by Gabriel. Now tell me, where is he hiding, Lolita? Well, don't hurt me. I was just doing as I was told. Then do the same now and tell me where she is. This looks like the work of sorrow. Oh, what a wonderful man! And now, to free Lolita. Huh? It is sorrow. Oh, look! Ha! Ah. Ha! Ah. Uh-huh. Ah. Ah. Get him! Oh! Ah. Oh! Ah. Oh, oh, oh. Step aside. Orders are orders. No one must pass, especially Zoro. Now, release your captive and leave. <sighs> I knew this was a bad idea from the start. Oh. Zoro! Gonzalez, I ordered you to stand guard. Yes, sir, I did, but, uh... Oh. Zorro! Lieutenant Gabriel, you are a liar and a coward, a disgrace to your country and to the uniform you wear. Shut up, Rebel. We'll settle this here and now. <laughs> ah! Vow to the moon that from today you will amend your conduct, Lieutenant Gabriel. Damn, rebel! Commander Raymond! Viento! Lolita! Zorro, get him! Lieutenant Gabriel, we found the arsonist tied to a tree in the forest. He confessed everything. Did you think you could use blackmail just to get what you want? I'm ashamed to think I once called you friend. Sir, I am ashamed. <laughs> this case shames not only you, but the entire army. We can't let it become known. Breathe a word of this to anyone, and it will be your last. Oh, yes, sir. And you will leave Don Carlos's daughter alone. <sighs> this is my command. I understand, sir. Mother! Father! Oh, Lolita! Oh. We are forever in your debt, Mr. Zorro. Yes, thank you, Zorro. Thank you! Thank you! Whoever you may be. Hey! Whoa! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Diego! Hey! Whoa! Hey. Hey. hey! Thank you, Don Carlos, for helping my son out of jail. We both owe you much. I think, Commander Raymond, the army owes us all something. The least they should do is replace your old barn. Yeah, maybe give Zara a great big medal. 
Except I don't suppose they reward a rebel. I don't think that Zaro has much use for medals. Here you go. Yes, sir. And now, what about my little Lolita? Lolita? Oh, Mother, do you think Zaro will ever consider marriage? Oh, hmm? no. Huh? Zaro belongs to everyone. Oh, Zaro. <gasps> Diego, why run away? She will make a beautiful wife. I just need more time. For once, Diego is right. He needs more time. Poor Diego. Help me! Someone help me! In next week's exciting episode of Zorro, an old friend of Diego's comes to town. But things don't turn out quite as he expected. After joining the army, he finds himself on the wrong side of his old friends. He is tricked by Gabriel into betraying his own father. Only one man can help him now. One man called Zorro!